Hi, my name is Andrew. I am a creative based in Los Angeles. I wear many hats, but currently I'm in charge of multimedia communications at a tech company. Well, no, currently I'm on vacation, visiting my family in Belarus, but as my fellow creatives know, even if you are out of office, you cannot really shut out the machine. <laughs> Anyways, my beloved wife Julie has recently got the latest issue of Vogue Russia, as she usually does when she's here, and she really got me hooked on to flipping through all sorts of fashion magazines. I wanted to get to this one as well, but I figured out why not get the camera rolling and perhaps catching a glimpse of this fucking genius of mine. By the way, I do not want any beef with any fashion gods, so I feel obligated to say two things. One, art is subjective. I honestly believe there is no right or wrong. This is why I will do my very best to stay away from commenting on artistic decisions and instead focusing on more technical things like placements of logos, colors, compositions, and so on. After all, beauty is in the eye of who? Chicky chicky slim shady! Number two, intellectual property. This is the Pandora box of IP. I'm making this video obviously just for educational purposes. Please do not consider it in any way a substitute to purchasing the magazine. I believe you should support your favorite publications. I don't know, if you cannot afford it, you always have libraries, dental offices. They usually have the latest issues, which is super cool. This is just an opinion of an insignificant small man with huge balls. All right, here we have it. Vogue Russia, October 2019. Let's start, shall we? The cover. I really like the feel of it. Uh, Mad Max vibes, nice subtle colors. Looks really cool. The text, though, is a mess. The words are mashed in together, they're of different sizes, no alignment, it really looks like there was no thought behind it. It was placed on top of the most rich in details area of the cover, while there is so much empty space on the sides. There's no reason to cover her up with a mess, it was just like a bunch of words. That's weird. All right, let's finally open the Mac. <laughs> Um, looks nice. White frames, grays with a bunch of red. Nice alignment, like a triptych. This red though is more vibrant than this one. I like this one better. They could have enhanced some here, but overall, looks good. All right, Valentino. Mm hmm. Colorized in Liliac. Nice, good placement of the logo. Oh, that's actually a girl kissing a silhouette of a boy. Or a girl, you cannot actually tell. Hmm. I like the concept, but when you have a creative, ambitious idea like this, you need to make it stand out more. You see how they left some of the barely noticeable elements of the background of the photo? It only adds distraction. What you really need is contrast. And to achieve that, you would need to decide between two options. To make it super black and make the filler image of the silhouette lighter, or if you have a photo with a lighter background, just to make that darker. I do appreciate the contrast of the red dress. I like the texture of the green grass and those white tiny flowers. But for instance, this lake at the top it almost erases the thin line between the dark background and the silhouette dude or a girl, right? Because your eye sees one shape here, one here, and then dark background around it. I would say that's a missed opportunity. Oh, okay. Lots of red, a red rose, red lips, beautiful Natalie Portman, the pose. Wow. I like the fact that they put the photo into this black frame because it kind of draws you in and creates this feeling of intimacy. They have those strange notches, round corners, 
and they are pretty random maybe that's a part of their marketing or something I don't know but I am sold what we have here I don't really have too much to say about that overall looks nice hmm this one looks stunning actually I, I love it very sleek very top-notch this pop of yellow amazing just flawless Chanel well 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 they usually stick to their aesthetics very clean minimalistic I'm not too sure about this part though they cut off the arm of the girl they have very pale barely noticeable shadows but only of the shoes I don't know they try to make them float because you know there's a uh, more space here than than here so I guess they were going for this flotation effect plus this girl doesn't have a shadow at all she's a vampire it's good but it's more of a safe bet it's not memorable doesn't stand out okay here we have a different approach to minimalism unlike Chanel they're not using thick black lines colors here are absolutely gorgeous those gradients are mesmerizing why do I have a feeling those letters are not aligned that's probably because of the fold looks great love it looks like minimalism rules the fashion world I don't think they need that black line here the only thing I don't like about this is that they put those two small informational lines too close to each other it could have been maybe here what can I say Giorgio Armani well I definitely like those 50 shades of gray an interesting pose on the right a cool detail shot on the left great job grabs my attention for a second yeah that's what I am looking for in high fashion magazines to be honest interesting photo shoots look at those flowers in the warehouse industrial versus nature some people far in the background some up front cool poses I love that however if I may two things first I don't like those white lines I do understand why they are there because of the aspect ratio and the fact that they wanted to have this panorama they didn't want to cut that off but it kind of draws you away I think what they were trying to do with creating the depth in there is to pull you in and the white margins they're just not cutting it plus they're having this Prada in white why not just making those black and you would have the same effect also they cut off the shoe well Prada again looks like they had some extra budget again those white lines ah uh, it would have been such an easy fix and a huge improvement the logo Prada I know this is where attention goes when you are flipping through a magazine but we already know it's you look look you have a very cool dark dry place here to store your company's branding don't put it over that poor girl's head very nice presentation of the product though good job Gucci Gucci yeah 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 <laughs> I cannot really comment on the artistic choices here I do appreciate their wildness it's a very interesting unique shot looks like a random person is sitting in the car being like what the mew mew what do we have here lots of white looks okay I think they could have made this white line smaller bring the photos down a little bit and then adding a little bit of space here to let the logo breathe the exposure on the photos looks slightly off to me those blacks don't have any detail pretty basic doesn't stand out more Gucci yay this one is not that wild very nice portrait to be honest I like the colors love the greens what I would suggest doing is putting that bottle over here because it has 
has space for something, otherwise it looks like a filler. And then putting the logo down here, because now this image on the right looks crowded while this is a filler. Otherwise, nice photography. It's great that they had a real horse in the shot, since they have a horse in the logo. The dress is beautiful, extremely rich in detail, but the background is messy as hell and it only adds complexity. Come on guys, you need to have that on a cleaner background. Also the logo, here. The left photo is fine. Ah, uh, that's hot, that's hot. You know what is not hot though? To have a light bulb as a symbol of an idea or genius. This idea is an overused idea, get rid of it. See, still looks good. Just bring the genie up and you'll be fine. Otherwise, I love the colors, the pop of red. Here, Jesus Christ, you have so much space and you mash all of it together. No separation between even the words, the lines, the logo. Just separate it, make the logo stand out. Now it's just one block and I don't pay attention. Thank you. Hermano Servino. Okay. The cubes. I like the idea of the cube, but to have the word cube inside of a cube with a cube and then duplicates all of those cubes, that's an overkill. Otherwise, I like the colors, the shapes, looks nice. That silhouette of the girl is interesting, although I cannot see one fourth of her because of that fucking cube. Next, Mara, make up your mind. This one is lovely. The colors, the poses, the photos, cool. Oh, yeah, I was waiting for it. <laughs> Finally, the photo and the fold. Why? Why? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a very interesting photo, right? But having those lines, uh, you know, half of her thigh is missing. It's not even in the fold. <laughs> It really seems like you had no idea this photo will end up in a magazine. Just never do it. Just don't. Hmm. Well, this one is uh, it's okay. Personally, I don't think it's a good photo for Vogue. Maybe I'm not getting something. The only like objective thing I have to say here is, look, this piece of road has no cracks. This piece where this ridiculously detailed logo is, is covered in cracks. Guys, there is this tool in Photoshop. You know what? Never mind. I don't have any issues with the photo. I'm forwarding my complaints to the person who selected the final design of the logo. This is ridiculous. Diego squashed in bold. Then we have a different font M in regular. And then we have extremely super fine Milano written underneath it. Three types in one logo. Are you fucking kidding me? Finally, a breath of fresh air. I love it. The textures, the colors, looks very organic. Gas, white, I love it. That's, this is what a fashion magazine should look like. Diego. And here we have H and M trying to step their game up. On the right, a pretty solid, but somewhat regular catalog-like photo. And on the left, a nice black and white portrait. Hmm, I have a theory. In the photography world, there is a famous quote saying that when you are shooting in color, you are photographing clothes. 
and when you are shooting in black and white you are photographing the soul and since this photo on the left is about this particular girl representing this collection my guess is this is where they were going for right no <laughs> i don't know who the hell cares asian dam by the way is i guess the only company who puts the price in vogue that's a bold move all right what do we have here at first i thought these are bees but nope this is a sea of naked people having sex i'm not too sure about this one the one on the left though hmm, you see how they're using only black and gold that's very impressive the only thing i would have changed is probably moving the logo slightly lower so it's in the middle of that rectangle other than that the two of them kind of rock all right and here we have some uh, some perfume for him for her dark light we have the use of what you call illustrations this is the first time at least in this magazine god's theme and um Hmm. The only thing that seems to bother me here personally is the fact that those center pieces are not aligned with each other. I guess what they were going for here is to place them on pedestals, but no, 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 no. All right, uh, what we have here. Hmm. All right, overall, it's great, but here's my suggestion. You take the photo, you move it slightly to the left, right, so that the girl is right in the middle of the page, because now she's kind of closer to the fold, and you have this bump here, and you Photoshop in a line here, that's a pretty easy job, and then you would have this nice black square here, and you can place the logo right in the center of it, right? And then this logo of the store or something. It's not even, it's not centered to the logo. It's just floating there. So put it more here or more here because now it's kind of misaligned. But overall, it's good. Uh, Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. Uh, where do I even start? So they're using a gradient for the background which plays nicely with the sepia photo on the right all right but they also used a pressed out icon on the left and it's huge adding complexity to the watch in the middle but they also have the logo and the icon right above it in the center pretty big and because of the complexity and like a mismatch of this section right here they actually had to add highlight behind the watch to make it stand out more you know i i don't even have advice here just take it back to the drone board the photo on the right good the title lower please i don't want this video to drag forever so let's just ramp up the speed a little bit okay here Looks good. Red frame. Alex McQueen. Good job. The Skid Row presents. Oh, I wanted to wrap up the speed. When you have jewelry that you want to stand out and, and sparkle and, and, and be shiny, don't put it on a shiny background. Okay. The colors and the vignetting. Okay. Great. But it just doesn't stand out. The green color of the background is probably not the color you want to go with since you already have those emerald green huge ass stones. I mean, it's okay. It's much better than the Rolex, but still, okay? All right, good, good. Is, is that the second Kate Moss in the issue? Damn, that girl's busy. Well, that's a conceptual piece right there. Fancy, cool hat. Chanel, flawless. 
Okay, Skid Row. This one is uh, pretty basic. I think the logo should go here, or at least in the center, because it's not prominent. And because of that, the whole page looks like a filler. That information could have been spread out perhaps horizontally. They could have kept slightly more of that photo. Feels like a draft. Okay, okay, the logo, mm, fine. The bottle looks nice. That girl on the left, pretty strong and powerful, but at the same time feminine. I don't mind the blackness and lack of detail because, uh, you know, the focus is her face. The background on the right is visually very appealing, indeed. But this yellowish bottle is kind of lost here, don't you think? What I would have tried is making the background just this plain black with the gold bokeh lights. Yeah. This one's fine. This one's very interesting. I don't mind that they've used so many rings because you know sometimes it feels pretty lame when you have a company that makes jewelry and they have all of the galore rights on the girl it's kind of you know trying too hard here they are so extravagant it kind of makes sense and i like that this logo is here the girl has those blonde hair and blonde eyebrows looks artistic i like it very good. The only thing that I think is a miss is the fact that this corner here is pretty busy. I understand that they want to put information here, but it could have been spread horizontally here, the same information and, you know, just keeping this neat. Plus, I think this could have gone slightly up to create more spacing. Yeah. Okay, let's see who is hiding here. Who is hiding here? That's ridiculous. Otherwise, nice colors and, you know, a very interesting mess. Baby blue. I like the colors. I like the B. This could have gone up. B, my love. Come on, B. It's good for a shampoo, but for a luxury ring collection. Give me a break. The easiest way to improve that would be just to get rid of that reflection because I think it's like a glass reflection or something and you would have a cleaner shape here. You could tilt the girl slightly this way so she's like more diagonally here. The brand, you see, Hermes is hiding their brand, not like Prada. Putting it right on top of the girl's head. Everything starts with a dream. It's fine. This could have gone slightly up. Doesn't matter. Oh, is that a watch? Looks nice. Very colorful. A lot of text. This duplicate of the logo it's, is unnecessary. Otherwise, it's pretty good. Again, a very luxurious brand of watches. And they have those static, such artificial poses right to kind of showcase the watches look i have one i have one and i have one just have to or i don't know just put them in different positions i like the use of the color we have water in yellow box to kind of you know drive the point home we have this thick line that kind of ties everything together we have the yellow b and we have this nice separation of words although it says squad on a mission <sighs> squad on a mission. This seems to be just like a one word. If that was the name of the brand, fine. Otherwise, it just makes no sense. Have it all together. Woo! I think I could have pulled this off. I like the direction here on the right. This is a very cool placement of the logo. This is fine, although kind of meshed in together. This info could have gone horizontally. This could have been smaller and the logo, which is the thing that you really want to push, could have been bigger. But we have it here and it, it's very nice. This bracelet doesn't seem to interact with the reality of that ribbon. Maybe it's there, but it's not too obvious. This ring looks like it's on the ribbon. 
and those two earrings they are probably there but because there is no slight tilt to them it kind of feels photoshopped in even with the shadow otherwise cool white lines on the sides not sure why but okay this one's fine again I don't understand the decision the most complex area of the photo and the logo is pretty complex as well and they are overlapping just use the blank space above or below okay what the hell is this white line doing over there when you have super dark photo and <laughs> because of that line you have that V just just piercing that girl's head make it black put it in the corner what is this Loro Piana turn it down Loro Piana you are not Gucci we have no idea who you are <laughs> you place the bottle right on the edge it's probably even bleeding off the page and you have all of that text right over a very detailed tattoo of hers what are you doing the logo looks very secondary here make it at least lighter because it doesn't stand out at all kind of feels like a filler this one's fine although that letter is just touching the photo while you have space here and that is super meshed in together this mm, here mm -hmm. aren't you bored yet the sun is dying let's keep it super fast this one is the same as the previous one this one is mm, fine it's fine nice colors okay artsy cool we have a Kansas here nicely done a little bit too dark she's kind of lost there give her more lights please whoa this is over my head All right, so your eye is drawn to the highlights and here we have just two highlights her face and her butt and since her butt is bigger and brighter you get the point is that in fashion again Jesus girls you lost your dude otherwise very cool atmosphere nice mango somewhat grayish that's a lot of jewelry Jesus this jacket is uh, is a weird choice i think if it were white that jewelry would stand out more otherwise it's lost and it's it's just a mess i'm not a stylist but i think they had to work on it more okay that's good you see different exposures right this one is much better in my opinion what do you think yeah the same goes here this against this this I like the play with the transparency of the ring good job the girl is sad because she's not very well exposed this one looks similar to to this one and I like this one better when you have so many highlights and like different textures you don't need that weird background keep it simpler plus those highlights are kind of taken away from the logo it reduces the contrast and it gets lost if it were just darker similar to that solid color i think it would have whoa those greens red white mm -mm -mm. beautiful even that frame there's a full frame there but it's lost in the fold beautiful wow doesn't stand out so much this one is nice this is a very unusual ad for a fur done by a Russian designer the only thing that kind of loses me here is the fact that they had to uh, increase the contrast right by highlighting those edges that you see here around the guy nice the background looks fake but okay hmm. Alexander Rogoff at Rogoff shop www.rogoffshop.ru rogoffshop.ru we get it dude if people want to visit your shop 
they will. Otherwise, it's pretty cool. Unlike this one, this is a kind of generic ad for furs. Sokolov jewelry. Well, 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 well. I love the colors. Beautiful girl. I, I think you went too far with the jewelry. The girl has one, two, three, four pieces and you have all of those pieces in big creates mass. I do notice your efforts here to create the 3D effect. Try to pull it off here, right? Not cutting off her fingers, extending beyond that, that edge. Also having a little bit of her shoulders, maybe head and kind of keeping the sky inside of that box. In my opinion, that would have been so much better. First, first, first. The only problem I have is probably this logo. I think it should be lighter on that dark background, okay? text here and it's kind of approaching the photo we have some elements here some elements here spread it out please this could have been bigger if that's the logo of that company i like the way the sweaters are floating in one corner and then you have purses in the other that's that's cool although this text is too close here looks good here I would like to see her face more, like uh, have some highlights there, because you see just different exposures, whatever. That's an interesting photo shoot to me. Looks good. Next. We have some architecture here. Looks good. Nothing to say. Moving forward. Sexy beast. Good, good, good. I would have put those in the middle and the text on the sides, but that's a very minor, minor thing. That's actually beautiful. Okay, whoa, hmm, got some pills, that's fine. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Artsy, interesting. Okay, I see a few things, but I don't want to bore you. And myself, I love that photo this blackness on the gray. I have no idea what it is. It kind of creates depth. I wish it was something recognizable. This, is that? <laughs> yeah, it is Gucci, it is Gucci. Those crazy Gucci people. At least it's not that, you know, fur ad, right? At least they're doing something that you want to see and like, oh, I don't understand it. Like, I don't get it at all. But it's something interesting because you know Gucci people are just fucking with you, right? And that's why they can pull it off easily. That's some crazy art here. More art. We have a dude with a leg of a girl. Yeah, some dudes, you know, like the blonde, some the brunette, and some just prefer to have a pair of legs in the boat. That text is placed, I guess, in the least attractive position here. Just move it here, move it here. What are you doing? Turkish Airlines. We finally got to the Sapia photo shoot and it looks looks very nice. I like the colors. You know, toned down, yellowish tones. You know, I appreciate that they are playing with the layout. You don't get bored. Hello, Skid Row. Hello, hello. When the winter hits, what you gonna do? Oh, nice lips. Whoa. The colors, though. Crazy jacket. Something Asian, Asian vibes, right? Everything by Gucci, everything by Prada. At least you're like flipping. It's like, oh, what is this? Putting it here, then the title, and then this unreadable text here. The article might be interesting, but this is just a mess. Same goes here. Where the hell is this girl going? They kind of play around the fold. <laughs> the same goes here. And here. Masterful. That was... Mm, that's probably the magazine people. They are pros in what they are doing. I like the fact that they place this frame here, although it's hidden in the fold, it still adds, oh, cannot wait to see you girls wearing 
that to the park. God damn it. This photo was so artsy. Somewhere at the beginning. Eh, never mind. But here it's... No, 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 no. Is this dude a tennis player? All right. Yeah, I believe he is. Cool colors, interesting shot. Bravo. Boops. Move it slightly to the left so it's centered. You see, this is a great example of a page that you don't read. I just skip it. What do we have here? A lot of stuff, but I'm sure it's super interesting. And we're moving. Yeah, those shots are always are always structured pretty much the same way. That's why I never read those. Mm, this is index. Fine. This is, this is an interesting shot. What do we have here? This one is messy. This one is fine. The white text here is Y. This one is a win-win. This one is interesting. Although this is lost and it it's structured weirdly. This one is okay. This line is just running ar running over that letter, so maybe just, you know, kind of letting it go. In between those would have been a better idea. This is lost. Which one do you like the most? I would say uh, the current one is, is great. I think they missed the opportunity to place it here and make it perfect. And I think I would give it to this one. Although this cover looks like an old painting, which, which I really appreciate. And we have a Louis at the very end and it's, it's not interesting. And there we have it. A re-art direction, how fucking dare you, of uh, October 2019 issue of Vogue Russia. Thank you very much.